first thing I want to talk about is AI risks. And let's face it, there are many. I chose three to discuss today that are really AI risks that are again on our doorstep. But let's take a look back for a second and talk about the risks that all of us face today. These are the risks according to the World Economic Forum over the next couple of years. We have, of course, the cost of living crisis. We are in the middle of a climate crisis. And also when you look over the next couple of years, we're seeing more and more an erosion of social cohesion. And I do want you to think about that for a second, as well as, of course, cybersecurity risks. Now these two items where I have the arrows, these are risks that again are going to be impacted in a negative way by artificial intelligence, particularly this topic of social cohesion. You've seen it already on social media where more and more people are being torn apart. And in many cases, algorithms uh, are to blame for a lot of that and a lot of that disruption, misinformation and disinformation that we're seeing today. It's also worth thinking about this. When we look at those risks that are facing us over the next couple of years, who are those risks going to impact the most? I know as a mother, this is something that I think about on a day-to-day -day basis because we know that Gen Z is the generation that is going to have to deal, deal with a lot of this chaos that again is on our doorstep. Gen Z and millennials have to deal with school shootings, terrorist attacks, police brutality, climate change, two economic collapses, and a global pandemic. Why do our parents think that it should also be our responsibility to remember their Gmail passwords? <laughs> We're busy trying to fix everything, so if you guys could keep track of which ones are the dog's name and which ones are the dog's name with an exclamation point, we would appreciate it. Also, if you could upgrade your password keeper from manila file folder in the kitchen drawer to literally any digital format. We would love a dash lane or a last pass, but we are willing to go as low as a Word document called passwords saved on the desktop. So we know that the next generation has a lot on their plate in terms of all of these risks. So let's focus for a second on the top three AI risks that are facing us today and over the next few years. The first is algorithms and automation. So when we talk about algorithms, I'm specifically gonna talk about how algorithms, as I mentioned, are impacting social media and the way that we build community and tear it down just as quickly. One of the things that's really interesting, if you think about the early days of social media, is that during those times, it was really kind of a perfect world. You would go out and you would follow people or organizations that you were interested in. You would see their posts in chronological order and you were in control of that experience that you had on social media. You had control. Well, eventually that started to change. And what happened is more and more what we saw was based on what these giant systems wanted us to see. And that's what Tristan Harris from The Social Dilemma calls an asymmetrical relationship. This idea that we are no longer in control of what we see from big tech, but specifically through some of the top social media sites. Uh, when I was a kid, I was a magician. And magic teaches you that uh, you, know, you can have asymmetric power without the other person realizing it. You can masquerade uh, to have asymmetric power while looking like you have an equal relationship. You say, pick a card, any card, while meanwhile you know exactly how to get that person to pick the card that you want. And essentially what we're experiencing with technology is an increasing asymmetry of power that's been masquerading itself as an equal or contractual relationship where the responsibility is on us. So this is a huge issue that we face right now in terms of our experience online and through social media sites. Uh, a 